Well, the old Salt Man 100 runs, as you can see from the steam coming off of everything. I just washed the engine. Uh, there was a nice layer of dust on everything. High compression head, lots of porting, new valves, different cams. What that means is more power, for sure, definitely, with less boost. But, really importantly, the Easy K. I uh, converted my car to Easy K, as you saw in another video. This tune will definitely no longer work. Uh, way too much timing in this tune for stock cams. So we have a solution to the problem. I will write another tune. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Don't look at that light. Burn your eyeballs out. All right. We have a... 1980s 4 kilobyte 27C32 chip from Intel. We will, with the advancements of modern technology from the 80s and this sweet machine from the 90s, put a new tune on this. So I have uh, before you a basic Willem programmer not more than about 30 bucks. You need to know how to use it. There's lots of different settings. There's lots of different chips you can burn. You can do a lot of damage with that. So you're best to know what the hell you're doing. Or you, you're going to screw up a lot of these little guys. Especially since you can't even buy them anymore. Uh, and the software. Uh, yeah, pretty basic stuff. So I just uh, put the chip in the uh, UV eraser for about 15 minutes there. We're just going to uh, check to see if she's empty. This is a 27C, 2732A, that's 21 volts. So 21, jumper, 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 jumper. Yeah, okay, we're all set up there for programming. 21 volts programming. Is the chip empty? Device is empty, perfect. Let's go to the tune and have a look at that. I've created a new tune. Uh, I've got a lot of experience with this engine, so I kind of know what it can and can't do for timing and what also is best for it. So I'll give you a little sneak peek of that. I'll start at idle speeds and when the turbo kicks in, boost area, cruise area. All right. This is a Tuner Pro, of course, free software. The XDF file I made myself. Uh, after some research into how the thing worked. Um, I don't think anybody else in the world is dicked with this but me, but you know what, whatever. Three-dimensional map of the timing map. There we go, it kind of looks a little funky, but uh, as you can see here, when the turbo's not boosting and your foot's right on the floor, the load's gonna be high, could potentially be high, and there's no boost, so I wanna just maximize power down below when there's no boost. Looks a little weird, but whatever, it should work just fine. All right, so we are going to save this. I am done with it. And we will go into our Willem software. We're gonna open up that file. Uh, I know what it's called. It's called ported 85 for stock cams. Bin file loaded. All right, now we are going to slow this down. Sounds about right there. All right, let's see what happens. Perfect. That chip is programmed. Now before going too, too far, I'm going to get this piece of tape. And we're just gonna throw that on there. All right, not put the camera light on it. 
There we go. All right, so we're somewhat protected now. All right, and I have my spare Easy K. I have two Easy Ks, the one that is always in, usually in the car, and then I have this one that I use for testing. Um, it's all been beaded up, beaten up, but uh, and it's had water in it and all sorts of stuff, but I use it for uh, my ostrich and stuff like that. And so we are going to pop the old chip back in there. That's, yeah, you go in this way. It's really hard to do this when you're looking at a phone. There we go. All right. Really hard to look at. Uh, clip it together. All right. Let's go plug it into the car and see how she goes. Perfect for right now, but you know, if it starts to rain, the whole lack of hood thing will really uh, screw me over on that. So uh, hopefully, you know, it doesn't rain. And of course, it's so blurry, you can't see fuck off. 